Hello everyone. Today we'll be talking about a simple linear programming problem where we'll first formulate the problem and then we'll solve it using solver. Okay. So let's study the problem first. So an airline an airline offers coach in first class tickets and for the airline to be profitable, it must sell a minimum of 25 uh, first class tickets and a minimum of 40 coach tickets. Okay. What does it mean? So there are two types of tickets available, coach and first class. Okay, suppose if we are assuming it as X and it is Y, like number of coach tickets are X and number of first class tickets are Y. Okay, and the company makes a profit of $225 for each coach ticket and $220 for each first class ticket. At most, the plane has a capacity of 150 travelers. Okay. So how many of each ticket should be sold in order to maximize profit? So it is clearly mentioned that it is maximization problem. We need to maximize our profit and we need to find out the each uh, type of ticket, number of each type of ticket. Okay, so that is coach tickets and first class tickets. Okay, so we have already assumed coach tickets as X and Y. So first of all, uh, we are clear with our decision variables X and Y. Okay, so X and Y are decision variables, right? And then we have our objective function as well. What is our objective function? That uh, for each ticket sold, okay? For coach ticket, we'll have around uh, $225 of profit. So 225 into X, okay? Oh, sorry, plus um, 200 Y. This will be our objective function, right? Clear, everyone? Okay. So now let's come to our constraints equation. Okay. So let's come to our first equation. So what is our first constraint? Okay. So for the airline to be profitable, it must sell a minimum of 25 first class ticket. Okay. So what does it mean? Y should be greater than or equal to 25, right? And similarly, our second constraint equation would be Minimum of 40 coach tickets, so it would be x greater than or equal to 40. Okay, and now we'll come to our third constraint equation. It is uh, the plane capacity. Okay, the plane has a capacity of 150 travelers. So what does it mean? The number of tickets sold would be equal to 150. It can be any number of x or any number of y. Okay, but it can't be more than 150 okay it would be less than equal to 150 okay and um, x plus y would be less than equal to 150 okay so now what we have to do we have to solve this problem using solver okay so so remember in our, all of our constraint equation we can see here so it will be easier to understand in the excel as well we have only one variable here, okay? Uh, and in first constraint equation, similar in second, we only have x, no y, and in this, we have both of them, okay? So let me share my screen again. Okay, so you can see the problem. So how will how will go with this problem? I've already filled in some values. So this will present coach tickets, first class ticket, and this will denote the value of coach tickets and first class tickets, okay? Currently, we are assuming 0, 0, and I have told you many times, you can assume any number, okay? So, when we look at our first constraint equation, what was our first constraint equation? Y is greater than or equal to 25. So, here, 0 doesn't exist. So, coefficient of uh, x is 0, so we'll put 0, and it is y, okay? And it should be, we are leaving just one column blank, okay? It should be greater than and equal to. 25 right okay fine similarly for second constraint equation x should be greater than or equal to 40 okay right and for next, x plus y equal to 150, or you can fill maybe uh, the total number of tickets available are 150 only. So one, one equal 
Okay. One fifty. Right. So, and now you see it is uh, similar to the problems that we have solved earlier. So here to find out the profit, we need to multiply this array, right, with command T if we are using Mac, okay, and F four, right. So we have basically multiplied these decision variables with their respective profit, okay. Profit associated with each course ticket was 225 and it each first class ticket was 200. Okay. So now we'll just drag this formula. Okay. As I told you earlier, this is our LHS. We call it LHS and this is our right hand side. Okay. So it becomes easy to understand and put values in the solver. So I'll just open my solver window. So this is my set objective that uh, this would be my profit that will be determined by determining our decision variable. So this is our maximization problem. So I've chosen maximization. Now I'm choosing my variable cells. Okay, so these are my variable cells and uh, the, there are certain constraints available, right? Now we'll add the constraints. So my constraints are the values should always be greater than equal to these two right and i'll add one more constraint does this value is equal to 150 when we are assuming that our pain would be full and okay now i will choose simplex lp and i press on solve okay so you can see to earn the maximum profit by uh, also fulfilling the given constraints uh, the maximum profit would be 33,125. And we must uh, book uh, 125 coach tickets and 25 first class tickets. Okay. So I hope it is clear now. And you won't be confused if a problem is given in word rather than uh, already in equation form. Okay. So in that mm -hmm. case, you need to first formulate the equations. Then you need to understand how to put values in the Excel to solve the sum. Okay, thank you so much.